Hey guys, this is Ben Rob0329. Sorry it's been forever since I posted a video. Um, I just haven't really had a good working computer that I can record anything worth recording on. Um, right now I'm using the guest computer, and it's definitely not as powerful as my laptop, but it works for small stuff like uh, little duty games like Me and My Shadow, which um, is what I'm going to be playing today. Um, I think I kind of want to move away from doing series, long series, and more just kind of do some different stuff, maybe come back to some stuff, but I mean, I'll do a series if you guys want, but I don't know that I'll be doing any long series until I really get a good schedule down, so I might jump around a bit until then. Um, I am working on building a computer, so expect, so, so expect uh, more YouTube videos here in the near future and just overall better quality. Um, so Me and My Shadow is a little 2D game, a little 2D platformer that's based around you have to tell your shadow what to do, and I'm going to show you guys that soon. Um, I was testing out the recording with the tutorials, but you don't need those. I'm just going to do classic levels. So essentially, um, you are the white figure, and your shadow is the black figure. And you can control your shadow by pushing space, recording some stuff, and then the shadow will... And then your shadow will do that. Will do what you recorded. So like, for example, here, if I line up, I can do this. So, it's an interesting concept, and that's that's for sure. Especially for an open source game. Usually, they don't have. Um, usually, open source games aren't very original, but in this case, they are. In, in this case, this one is. So, um, it's a pleasant surprise, actually. There we go. Got it. Probably doing this the hard way, but... Close. <sighs> Just 
start. So, I guess I should probably commentate on my own video, instead of just playing a game and recording it. Um, so, does anybody know how to get uh, Netflix and um, Amazon Amazon Instant Video to work on Open Elec on the Raspberry Pi? Because I have searched around. And all I can find is um, either people using Play On, which I don't really want to invest money into something yet, quite like that, um, or using the um, or the old method, um, which was using the uh, blue cop blue cop repository. But I tried that and it no longer works. Got Um another thing. Are there any games anybody wants me to play? Um Um I suppose I can't do a whole lot of like three D games right now. But I can do stuff like this, uh, little 2D ones. Open source is nice, because then I don't have to deal with any copyright things. Did I seriously? I did. And it's also just nice to show off different open source games. I would like to do some of the powder toy. Um but I'm not sure if that'll run okay on this computer. Just because it's only an old AMD A4, it's not even an, uh, a new one. Oh. Well, this will be interesting. So what I have to like... Okay, not do that. So I have to like and start recording like that. Okay, not like that. Leave it to me to act like an idiot. Um, so, I suppose I should probably talk about some of the things that I'm planning to do in the near future. Um, I do plan to do some various tech videos. Um, maybe some programming. Sort of things. Um, but probably not that kind of stuff right now. Um, I might. 
I'd like to do some tutorials. I mean, obviously, this is all for the near future. Um, as I can't do a whole lot right... Oh, seriously, I do it and I hit R packs. Um, obviously, this is all for pretty much just the near future. But, figured I might as well let you guys know, um, I am planning on doing that kind of stuff. This will be interesting. Okay, don't do that. Or that. Or that. Don't do any of those things, because it will always end badly. Or that, apparently. I'm probably doing this completely wrong and missing a very obvious thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Nope, I'm not. Or maybe I was and I just did that the hard way. And, um, in case any of you guys were wondering, the software that I use to make my new channel art was, in fact, not GIMP. It was Piscal. With a bit of GIMP for the text, because Piscal is made for pixel art, not doing pixelated text. And I use the press start to P technically to play, um, but, uh, Google font, and, yeah, I doubt anyone was actually wondering that, but just in case. See if I can't finish up this level here, and and then the episode. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of videos, uh, games, and such you guys would like to see in the future. And I'm gonna try to do some more videos pretty soon. Um. And then probably start doing some, maybe some Friday night live streams or something. Um, once I get my new, com once I get my computer built. Um, but until then, thanks for watching.